Oh, it's thick! Oh, look at them chunks coming out of there. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Hello. Hey, y'all. We're Matt and Jen, and you've seen us do a lot of international snack reviews, but all that snacking's left us thirsty. Well, we've got a bunch of exotic drinks from around the world. We're going to crack them all open and give them a taste test right now. So you might have noticed that our intro is new and improved. Well, that's because our channel's initial intent was to be mostly travel content. But as we were kind of putting together some trips and some ideas for some videos, uh, good old 2019 and 2020 came <laughs> along and our friend COVID kind of dashed our plans. So we ventured more towards some content that was more available during the lockdown. But... We're vaccinated and the world is starting to reopen, so be on the lookout for a little more travel content and make sure that you hit that subscribe button so that you'll see that as soon as we post it. As for now, let's do some day drinking. <laughs> so our most recent video was actually a snack haul from the Asian markets in our area, but we had actually neglected one and it turned out to be really awesome. We went there today. It's a gigantic market that has several locations in the Virginia, D.C., Maryland area. Strongly recommend you give them a try. I'll leave a link below. But each aisle of the place is actually a different region of the world and we started to notice that each aisle not only had snacks and foods and all kinds of other cool goodies, but they had beverages. And we thought, why not go around the world in beverages? <laughs> We had so many beverages that the checkout guy <laughs> looked at us like we were crazy. All right, let's start right off here with this guy, Yao's White Gourd Drink. Can't get enough of White Gourd. I Where is gourd. White Gourd from? I believe it is. <laughs> this is from Malaysia. Oh. Interesting. White Gourd Juice. With real White Gourd Juice. Not fake White Gourd Juice. Real it's legit. White Gourd Juice. Oh, yeah. Look at that White Gourd delicious yeah it looks kind of like uh white gourd piss <laughs> oh it smells it smells like caramel oh it does <laughs> it, it smells really exactly does. like caramel i hope it tastes like that too <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to smell like that because they like Ooh, it smells like caramel but it uh it tastes more like it looks which well, it tastes really urine. buttery. It does taste very buttery, but it also has kind of an earthy flavor. Yeah, I'm not sure what to think of this. It, it almost does taste like caramel, and, and now that I'm yeah. looking at it, it has a little bit of residue in there. <laughs> White gourd drink. Uh, interesting for sure. Very but, sweet, uh, too. Sure. Uh, we're going to have to put a rating on this. Yeah. So as you know, we always have a themed rating scheme, and this video is no different. Uh, for drinks that are just absolutely delicious, amazing, uh, I can't think of a better word than refreshing. refreshing. Uh, for drinks that are just kind of okay, they don't really hit the spot, those are just pretty much going to be moist. Yeah. And uh, if it's uh, just uh, off the marker, no good, <laughs> no bueno, it just doesn't taste good at all, uh, that's going to be parched. But uh, I'm not sure what white gourd is. <laughs> it, was, it smells exactly like caramel. It's kind of a dehydrated urine color. It's not awful. I guess I could drink it if I if I had to, but I, I don't think I would choose it. I think no. it's, it's pretty much just moist. Yeah. We've got Mogu mm -hmm. Mogu, and I believe Mogu Mogu is grape from Thailand. Yay. Yay! Thailand is a very happy place for us. We're very hopeful to get there soon. We were actually supposed to be there several months ago, uh, but be looking for some content on Thailand. Oh, it's thick! I oh. wonder if you should have shaken It's thick and it's Mogu. murky. Oh, it says you gotta chew. It says gotta chew on oh, there. Oh, like no. You gotta <laughs> chew. Like a nice thick drink. <laughs> It's chunky. <laughs> Ooh, it's very grape though. It has like chunks I'm of so grape in it. Of this. Mm. Wow. I might be kind of part. Take a look at it. You might be able to kind of see the chunks floating 
around in there. It's not bad, though. It actually tastes really good, but it's just very surprising. I think if you didn't read the label to see that it says you got to chew it, uh, you might be very surprised when you took a swig out of the bottle and there's a chunk in there. You do have to chew it. And it's like jelly. Water, big chunk. It's Ugh. like jelly-like. It's not grape, I don't think. I don't know. It kind of, yeah, it kind of tastes, it is kind of jelly-like, and I think that's a big thing with, like, the boba oh, and yeah. whatnot. You get the, the jelly drinks or whatever, but... It's actually not bad. I, I, I am partial to grape things. I, I kind of, you know, tend to pick grape things. So I, I do think it tastes kind of nice. It's very, very rich grape flavor. And the, the chunks are actually kind of nice. I like them. <laughs> but uh, Thailand, you did a good job. This is way better than caramel urine drink from Malaysia. <laughs> uh, I'm going to say that's uh, refreshing. refreshing. We've got sparkling yogurt yum yay and i believe sparkling yogurt is from korea there's all kinds of korean on there even whatever this says in korean with an exclamation point which hopefully it doesn't say like no don't drink this or that this is a cleaning product or <laughs> something along those but uh yeah it looks delicious 136 calories for the bottle it's a, a very interesting color but uh let's give it a whirl that's right it smells good what flavor is it supposed to be? I, I don't know. It's it's oh. Korean flavor. Mm. Uh, yeah, I, I have no idea. It kind of tastes like seltzer water and uh, maybe Maalox. <laughs> I'm not sure. It's uh, it definitely does not taste like yogurt. It has kind of a like like scent of something fruity. Um, yeah. I, I can't put my know. finger on it. I have no it's, words to describe it. It's very The finger is, is on that it's revolting. Yeah. It's, it is not, not good. good. That's probably what this says in Korean with the exclamation point is not good. <laughs> wow, I will not be ingesting 136 calories of this because it is just horrible. Uh, also known as parched. parched. <laughs> Moving yeah. on. Next, we've got Sparkling Plum, Yum. and I believe Sparkling Plum is also from Korea. I love a sparkling drink, though. Well, yeah, we just had sparkling yogurt, which was <laughs> horrifying. But I'm hopeful. For I just this, say though. Sparkling Plum is going to be so much better. Yeah, I think so. Oh, it already looks so good. It's pink. We're supposed to shake it. You don't have to chew it. Mm. Oh, it smells uh, fruity, almost kind of medicinal. Hmm, interesting. I don't know what plum tastes like. Does it taste like a plum? I feel like it, it has a peach picture on it, but it says plum. It's really sweet. It's really it's good, It's very, though. very sweet, yeah. Mm -hmm. It uh, it kind of tastes like a red Fanta. If you've ever been somewhere that had red Fanta, I know it's kind of rare. It is a little but, rare. But uh, red Fanta pretty much tastes like this, like, sparkling plum. It's, it's good, It's not though. bad. Uh, yeah. It's probably, I, it probably has real it sugar in it. it. It definitely has real sugar in it. Um, it is leaps and bounds better than sparkling yogurt, which yeah. was horrible. Yeah, I'll say. Uh, I don't mind this at all. I, uh, it's hard for me to say that it's refreshing because it's not the best thing I've ever tasted. I, I'm going to have to say that this is just moist. Okay, I'll go with but that. But compared it is to good. sparkling yogurt or caramel urine drink that we had earlier, <laughs> this is massive refreshment. This little guy is super happy, so this must be something absolutely delicious. This little orange pouch is all in Chinese, but I believe it is orange jelly drink. Oh. And I've seen quite a few of these uh, on other taste tests. It's just like kind of jelly type stuff that's inside this pouch. Let's give it a whirl. All the way from China. Oh, there's, ch oh, oh, there's chunks. <laughs> there's definitely chunks. Wow. That is, uh, that is a very interesting texture. Mm. It smells so good, though. It smells very, very orange. It actually tastes very orange. It's not bad. It kind of tastes like if you put, like, a, an orange in a blender, maybe, and it was still kind of chunky and had, like, the little juicy bits inside of it. That's kind of how it tastes like. It actually kind of looks like it has some little little juicy it's bits like in there. It's like pulpy orange juice, mm -hmm. but with very jello. Mm. Yeah, with some like jello floating yeah. around. <laughs> it's interesting. I mean, I would, it be, I would be really interested. You know, the kids love those little crushers now that have applesauce in it. Give this to one of those kids and see what they think about it. So uh, for all of your orange jelly chunky drink needs, uh, 
uh, China's got you covered, but uh, I, I actually think this is pretty darn good. Yeah. It's a weird concept, but uh, it is refreshing. <laughs> how did how, I'm not sure how this got into the basket, but uh, it is appears to be all in Korean, with the only recognizable feature being banana. <laughs> Korean. Drink with weird looking duck guy. Oh, and I can already smell banana. the banana. Oh, oh, and it's that fake ass banana that smells like Laffy banana, taffy. Laffy Taffy dog food. Oh, like murky water <laughs> came out of a pond. It smells like banana. Oh, <laughs> that is exactly, it tastes like liquefied food. Fake banana flavored. It is disgusting. <laughs> it does. It tastes just Ugh. like Laffy Taffy in liquid form. Parched. Parched. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. You probably love it, though. It's not bad. It Thank smells God. so no, good. No, it's not bad. It's awful. So, coming off of the heels of delicious yet horrible banana, uh, we've got Rainy Float. And I believe it's peach. Oh, I like peach. Yeah. Uh, this was a rare one. I believe this is from the UAE. Oh, wow. Yeah, so, uh, interesting. It actually has a little instructions that say, shake, drink, chew, tap. Chew? Yeah, so, it's chewable, I guess, apparently. Or you eat the can. Not sure. That's probably really crunchy, but it does sound like it has some body to it in there. Do we have things in the U.S. that Woo! has that? That's good. <laughs> Crack up on a cool one. <laughs> Has that body to it that you have to chew? I don't think so. Maybe like a like a two hundred dollar oh. Cabernet might have enough body to <laughs> it. But, whoo! You got to go uh, over. Oh. oh, look at them chunks coming out of there! This is so bizarre. <laughs> it actually, whoa! It smells really good. Peach fruit drink with real fruit pieces. It actually looks like uh, like Maybe nectar. Right. Yeah. Wow. Wow, look at the legs that, on that. That is some <laughs> That's six thickness. Inside the yeah, that is absolute thickness right okay. there. Mmm. It is mm. delish. It is it's very much like fruit oh, nectar so or like good. a like a smoothie. Uh, that is really, really good. Oh, yeah. Good job, UAE. You need to go and show the folks in Korea that are making banana bar beverage. <laughs> Uh, how to do it because this is That's absolutely good. delicious. This is refreshing. So we have seen these before at Japanese restaurants mm -hmm. and we've never actually had one because I usually want to charge you like six bucks but uh, I think this was like a dollar ninety nine. It's just like I'll bite. Yeah. But uh, it is fun marble drink. Ramune. I have no idea. From Japan, and it actually includes instructions that you're supposed to peel the top of it off. <laughs> Good lord, wow! And it's in there now, there's a little bowl in there. Look at that, that's pretty amazing. Good old Japanese technology. Ooh, yeah, that little is ball. It, this a so flavor? the little ball is really, I think, just like a stopper. Like it's not even, it doesn't like create the fizz or like add to the flavor or anything. It's just like a little glass ball that. It's just a novelty. It's, it's just wow factor. But yeah. let's give this a, a try. It's a yuzu citrus flavor. Hmm. It smells very light. Hmm. Hmm. It's interesting. It's very bubbly. It's very, very bubbly. I'm not sure what yuzu is, but uh, it does taste citrusy. It kind of tastes like, uh, kind of like weak lemony. Yeah. Just like fizzy lemony type of stuff. It's it's not bad. Uh, I think the novelty was in the uh, the, the opening marble. process. The yeah. <laughs> like you had to like smack this little marble down in there, but it sure was fun. I uh, thought it was fun. Uh, it doesn't taste bad. It's not terrible. Uh, it's uh, it's moist. It's moist. We've got Faluda drink with mango. Mm. Wow, this uh, comes from, all the way from Thailand. It says three in one. What yes, are those? It's three in one. It is three in one. Okay. Three in one: basil, cocoa, and noodle. So I'm assuming cocoa is like coconut milk, maybe, and the noodle is probably like 
jelly bits or tapioca balls or something like that. It does look like it has some, some bits and balls in there, but uh, let's give it a whirl. I feel like I'm an adventurous drinker. You're adventurous the second you pour a drink that's got chunks in it. Chunks in it, yeah. Ooh, it smells interesting. I noticed that it's mango flavored, but it's not mango colored. <laughs> so this could be fascinating. It it's, doesn't even mention it's mango. It's kind of brown. It's so good. It smells like mango. It's three and one. <laughs> I don't know if I want either it's of them. Any fire of them. away. You can do it. Yeah. Thailand, I'm not sure what you're going for here. <laughs> it maybe kind of tastes like mango, but it's also like a Ugh. like skim milk. And then it like has it. jelly bits, but it also has these little black things in it that I guess are supposed to be like seeds. It's just too much. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know about this lot. at all. I, I, I love you, Thailand. I hope to be back there soon. But uh, I think it's... when we're uh, back on the streets of Bangkok, we're not going to be looking for a, a Faluda drink to It's the to basil. Cool us off. The basil is really what, strong. Whatever it is that's in there, it's, it's just too much. It's, uh, it's... Stick oh. to one, not three. Yeah. three one. Oh, it's going to be hard for me to pull out parched, but... Uh, yeah, this is a, a moist parched. It's 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 just not great. It's very very strange. So coming off of the heels of uh, unfortunate Thailand disappointment, uh, we've got ourselves uh, a Maubi fizz. Mm. Anyone guess where Maubi fizz is from? I already know. Where's it from? Trinidad. Trinidad. It's from Trinidad. You know, you get down <laughs> on the island. It's kind of warm there. You got to cool yourself with a little Maubi fizz, <laughs> but. Uh, it's definitely an interesting color. I don't know if the bottle's brown or the stuff is brown. I don't have any idea what the flavor is. It's it's apparently it's Maubi. But uh, let's give it a whirl. Oh, the bottle oh, and the it's, liquid. Oh, uh, it's brown color. again. Or we had the uh, what did we start off with caramel urine brown. Ooh, it smells. Oh, I know exactly what it is. It smells licorice like. There you go. It smells exactly like a big old shoddy Jaeger, but I bet you it's just not going to be nearly as interesting. Oh, <laughs> oh God. My mom did not go to Jaeger. Oh. Woo. <laughs> it's, it, uh, woo. Oh, my gosh. It is like a big old mouthful of bitter, nasty licorice. Oh. oh. Cool yourself with Malby Fizz. Oh, it's like so, I have chill bumps. It's it like, is so terrible. It's so bitter in your mouth. I think about like a, you know, Trinidad, you know, all the tropical drinks and things like that. And this is what they have to offer. Oh my God, it what? is absolutely horrible. Parched does not even explain it. Oh my God, if you're on a desert island with a case of Malby Fizz. <laughs> Pray for a quick death. <laughs> oh my god, that is bad. Moving on. Oh, last but not least, Vitamilk. You know, Vitamilk actually is special to me. This is another one from Thailand. I remember seeing this. We actually had sodas and things delivered to our house. We lived over there. And this was one of the options is you could get, you know, Coke, Sprite, grape, whatever. Fanta. But you could also get Vitamilk. <laughs> it is like shelf-stable milk, I guess. It's like soy milk that's sweetened. And it is not a twist-off. So <laughs> you have to get a bottle over. But all the years I lived in Thailand, I actually never tried this. But you see people swilling it down like water. Let's get a bottle opener and try it. Wow. For me, you know, it's really, really hot in Thailand. I just don't see cracking open an ice cold milk. <laughs> you know, but we're going to give it a whirl. It's thick. I think that's a uh, that's a theme for the Southeast Asian drinks. It's got like thick and chunky. It smells like milk. It's not horrible. <laughs> it's, it's weird. It's definitely milk. It tastes like, you know, soy milk or plant milk. If you've had any of those, like, yeah. you know, cashew or almond milk, it's kind of thick like that, but it, it's not quite the same as cow milk. It's very sweet. It definitely has yeah. a lot of added sugar in. It's not bad. It would probably actually be like a nice little, like, carb boost if you yeah. needed one before you were going to run a mile. But, uh, yeah, I don't know about how refreshing I'll stick with it water. is. It, it's, it's not terrible. 
it's not a bad way to, to wrap things up. I'm going to say it's a, it's a strong moist. This wasn't the greatest, but uh, I thought uh, one of the others from Thailand was really good. The uh, the grape one with the little bits yeah, of grape in good. it, that was really tasty. The uh, one from the UAE that was uh, peach. peach. That peach was kind of like nectar, like a smoothie. That oh, was, was so really, good. really yeah. good. Uh, apparently, international beverages are uh, are thick and chunky, you know. So if you, if you are traveling across the world and you come onto a a random vending machine, uh, there might be some thick and chunky drinks in there. But <laughs> they were really interesting. I really enjoyed most of them, and otherwise, from that, it was just a cultural experience. Uh, I strongly recommend heading out to your local Asian market. Find some of those exotic snacks and beverages. Give them a try. If there was one that you didn't see today that you think we should really try, please do drop us a comment down below. We've got quite a few more, and we're looking forward to making another video, so be on the lookout for that. We're also really looking forward to putting out some travel content really soon. So make sure you nail that like button and nail that subscribe button so that you get our freshest content. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye, y'all.